It's time for our tech segment, and joining us now is our technology reporter, Paul Ndiho. Paul? Uh, thank you, Esther. The African tech ecosystem grew by 20, uh, in 2021 with an impressive $4.77 billion in a venture capital funding, according to a report released by the World Economic Forum. A new initiative in Nigeria, the Growth Africa Startups, in partnership with Lagos Business School, is try training young creative minds to become the next billion-dollar entrepreneurs. I spoke to Samuel Ajiboyede, a tech entrepreneur and founder of Growth Africa Startups in Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome back to Africa 54. Thank you, Paul. It's always great to be here. You're doing amazing work, my friend. It's because of you guys that uh, I'm able to stay on air to do what I do to support uh, people like you. You have been uh, running an incredible business now. You've sort of uh, uh, diversified a little bit. You're trying to empower uh, young entrepreneurs uh, who are coming up. Uh, bring us up to speed. Really uh, 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 a, a massive change, massive movement in Africa. Africa is building the next billion dollars company across the globe. And for us, well, for me, I have operated in different levels. I've run a lot of companies that have moved from zero to multi million dollar company. I've done that over and over what time. And I realized that this is the right time to stay back the stage and begin to drive the next generation of entrepreneur in Africa to move to the next level. We actually uh, put up the application for Growth African Startup uh, to select all the 50 people. You, to amazing, we have uh, we had 1,200 people apply, and it was really, really tough for I am a team to be able to select uh, the, the best 50 among these people. We, we partner with Lagos Business School. Lagos Business School is number one business school in Africa, and they have track record of successful people that have graduated from that place. I will tell you what these guys are building. They have crazy ideas. They have they have crazy model. They just need someone to tell the next place to go. How do you build the right uh, perception? How do you build the right branding? How do you build the right connection? Earlier, you talked about uh, something uh, regarding connectivity. That's still like a primary challenge for a lot of uh, young startups a lot of businesses but somehow these people are able to overcome all those challenges and uh, stay afloat what is it that they are doing differently to to keep their businesses going so one of the things that I, I, I try to emphasize with this young guy young generation is the power of social media because that is your channel that's the cheapest channel to get anywhere okay Paul we met on platform Okay, that's the power of the platform. So these guys need to know that they need to take advantage of this platform. I could not agree more with the point you're making that uh, if you're not out there trying to tell your story, somebody is going to tell that story for you. But there are a lot of people out there who are really skeptical about social media. They don't know what to make of social media. If you look at what is happening on social media right now, it it's, it's, it's favors a lot of black community. Because you see right now, there's a lot of black movement, people, all the platform. Uh, before you, you you go to to LinkedIn, you will never see anybody that is an influencer in Africa. Now things are changing. The companies are coming to LinkedIn right now. See you on, on, on LinkedIn right now. The big guys are beginning to come on LinkedIn, they begin to see the value. How do I increase my personal brand? How do I increase my company brand? Uh, so now you don't need to tell us. So, so the, it's less easier to tell people now that oh you need LinkedIn because people go there to employ people go so things are changing and I am telling you you can build a very powerful brand if you know how to use these tools properly because the question I ask somebody if someone want to invest in the US how we, what would the first thing the person do you go on social media you go on search engine to check about the company and he's going to take most of his decision based on what he has seen online right now in the age that we are now everybody requires a social media I am telling you the truth. If you, if you think you are an online, you are a publisher, you write very well, you are you could be number one. If you are not on social media and effective on social media, nobody cares about you anymore. Uh, Samuel, you are one of those uh, people who uh, started small, uh, grew, and uh, run several multi-million dollar businesses uh, in Nigeria. What does it take to be an entrepreneur like you, to succeed at whatever you do? The first thing is having the right attitude about business. Okay, and that I got that from my background, having a big picture to help a lot of people. 
who I want I want to be able to support my country. I want to be able to support Africa. I want to be able to support the world. I want to be able to impact the world. I want to have my footprint on this world. I want to be able to do well great things. I want people to remember me for good. If you have those kind of mindset that you want to impact people, you want to create value across your community, Nigeria, Africa, and then the globe at large, then you can grow faster. Because the truth is that when there's a lot of uh, good story coming from Africa, people are saying the reality, uh, people like you are putting the story out there, more investment can come into Africa. More people want to do partnership with Africa. More people want to bring their plan to Africa. A lot of things are going to change, and before you know it, you see that uh, the world is going to be a better place for everyone. Thank you so much, uh, Samuel. Thank you so much, Paul. It's always great to be here. That was uh, Samuel Ajiboye, the founder of Growth Africa Startups in Lagos, Nigeria. That's uh, today's Tech Report. Back to you, Esther. Paul, thanks. Be sure to join Paul and Diho each Wednesday for another Tech segment on Africa 54.